In order to keep your SQAV reliable and accurate, the instrument needs to be cleaned. This is a two-step process. There are recommendations for once per day cleaning on days that you run samples and once per week cleaning regardless of how many samples you've run. The cleaning kit consists of a 6 inch wooden electrostatic brush, two types of cleaning paddles, one with a blue dot in the middle and a fibrous cleaning surface, and one with a spongy surface, a dropper bottle containing cleaning solution, and instructions on how to use the kit. As a first step, we'll take a look at the recommended daily cleaning procedure. It's recommended that you activate the service data screen on the SQAV and from the utilities tab in vSperm, activate the real-time service data so you can view key reference parameters. To view the real-time service parameters, select service from the main menu. Then select service data. Please note, on older versions of the instrument, the service parameters may be available by pressing enter from this screen. In current versions of the vSperm software, service data parameters can be activated by clicking Utilities, and then Self-Test Data from the top. The system will then prompt you to activate the service data screen, which we had done, and then press Continue. You now have a real-time view of the service parameters of the SQAV. There is one key parameter to pay attention to that is a very good indicator of overall instrument health and status. The Reference 2 parameter, located in the upper right-hand corner under Concentration Channel, should be as close to 3000 millivolts as possible. In order to clean the Reference 2 channel, daily maintenance is recommended using the 6-inch electrostatic cleaning brush. To use it, insert it into the chamber with the bristles facing down. It should be reached all the way back until you feel a little ledge. From there, use a sweeping motion, pulling down and away, in order to clean this channel. You'll be able to monitor the reference to value in real time through vSperm. Again, this is recommended on any day that you test semen samples at the end of the day. We also recommend powering the instrument off at the end of the day. This will keep it from drawing in any unwanted dust during the evening, as well as allow for a fresh calibration the next morning when you turn it on. Weekly maintenance of the SQAV includes utilizing the blue dot fibrous cleaning paddle and the spongy tipped paddle. To do so, take one drop of your cleaning solution and apply it to the tip of the blue dot paddle. You will then insert this paddle into the testing chamber face down. Give it 5 to 10 scrubs with a nice even motion and the step is complete. You will now take the spongy drying paddle and insert it into the instrument and let it rest for about 10 seconds. For this paddle you don't want to scrub it in and out, just allow it to stand. You then remove the paddle and your weekly maintenance is complete. Proper cleaning of the SQAV is extremely important to keep the instrument accurate and reliable. For additional questions, please visit the website at www.mes-global.com or drop us an email, service at mes-llc.com. And remember, it all started with a sperm.